welcome to the video um, for those of you who have come from the Portsmouth vlog on my channel um, these are going to be the full vlogs of the tours we did of each ship there will be separate vlogs for each ship as there was a lot of footage for all of them um, for those of you who have just searched for the ship tour hi my name is Caroline um, and I do vlogs on days out and the theme parks that we travel to um, so yeah let's get into it now we're going to go into the Mary Rose more guidebooks here that's $7.99 Oh, is that a children's book? Okay, dingo. Come here, Robin. Oh, something like for like a 10, 11 yeah, year yeah, old that girl. likes yeah. this sort of thing. Yeah. All right, I take it time. All right, so going into the first room now. Not real water. It tells you this is a Henry VIII's warship, Mary Rose. Stands Launched in 1511. 34 years as a king's ship. It sank in 1545, spent 437 years underwater, and it was raised in 1982. When their world ended, our story began. In 1545, a disaster struck the Mary Rose, and she sank in the serpent, only a few miles from where you're now standing. She lay undiscovered for hundreds of years, entombed in the seabed, until her wreck was finally located by a group of divers in 1971. After years of careful planning, on a cold, wet day in October 1982, the hull of the Mary Rose was raised from the seabed that had protected the ship and its contents for over 437 years. This transition from obscurity to fame was witnessed by a global television audience of over 60 million people. Perhaps you were one of them. I certainly was. Today, Mary Rose and her thousands of artifacts provide a unique insight into life on board a Tudor warship. Do you know how her story began? I was near 18 when I came to the throne. Yes, that's me up there. Hard to believe, isn't it? A great king should seek glory in just war and rightful conquest. Now, by ancestral right, I was also king of France. But I could not enforce this unless I waged war on the French. And to do this, I needed ships to carry my armies across the narrow seas. When my father died, I inherited just five king's ships. Now, I have near 60. The first ship I built was the Mary Rose, and I paid for her out of my own purse within 10 months of my accession to the throne. She was named for the Blessed Virgin Mary and our Tudor Rose, and she proudly bears this emblem high atop her foot. I love to hear how she sang. My first Lord Admiral reported, Sir, she is the noblest ship of sail of this hour, as fast and maneuverable as the vessel of quarter of her size. I viewed her myself many times. I went aboard her with the Holy Roman Emperor when we inspected our ships before my second war with France in 1522. My army by sea, my Navy Royale, has been one of my chief delights. I have built great dockyards and gun foundries to arm our ships and fortify our coasts. And my greatest ships have bellies bursting with guns set in ports with lids which can close. Many guns bear my titles and the marks of our Tudor Rose and the Fleur de Lis. And when fire, these roar and breathe smoke causing fear and dread among my enemies. My walls at sea have seen no great weapons. In fact, our recapture of Boulogne a year ago was fought on land, not at sea. But now my spies inform me that more than 200 French ships are close to England. 
their fierce of war galleys harassing my ships and raiding our coast. Against this, I have but 80 vessels anchored here at Portsmouth Haven. Anticipating fierce battle, I have gathered my captains for a council of war on my flagship and placed men atop the mast to keep watch. My gentleman Karu has served me well, and I am making him vice admiral in my very rows. My lords! What are you? The enemy is sighted by the whites. Captains, to your ships. Tiny not! I will hasten to my army by the South Castle. Godspeed, and with God's grace, the winds will favor us. The battle is upon us. The Mary sails for the French fleet. Join her now. Sound trumps and trumpets, and cry God for hay. In the dancing charge! Board a boat. Interactive boards here. And you can click on the areas. Two dollars. Sorry. Oh, Mum, we can get him in a photo. Managed to get Riley in front, uh, Robin in front of the chip. Riley didn't fancy a photo, so. Is this it? What, this, 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 That way, yeah, apparently. Yeah, man. Just for all. Bye. Bye. See you later. Okay. No, she's coming. No, I said bye to her. Robin stayed sitting on the chair, didn't want to move, and we know that if we say bye to her, she will follow us. So that is the uh, main gun decks. Bye, Robin. Yeah, the upper gun deck and the main gun deck. Right then, so this is the way we go, are you ready?
Shall we go see if we can see what's going on? Oh, I'm just going to stay here in this lovely aircon for a few minutes. Oh, is it is it is this to pre prepare you for the coldness? Oh wow! There we go. And that's what they managed to um, bring up. That's all that's left of that boat. It's crazy. Right over this side. I know you can't see too well, but there's some of the cannons. There is one of the cannons. Bits and pieces that they found with it. Yeah, it looks like that looks to be a full cannon. Some more over here. This one's better lit. playing in the background. Are you looking at the ship? the boat. Now we come to this side. So I've got these display cases here. It's uh, bits that the master carpenter owned that were also pulled up from the bottom of the sea. I'm on board. Wow. And they have the master gunner. That was the chest that he had. Obviously there is a lot of written information underneath um, for you to have a good read of. Master Gunner's uniform. Iron and bronze. Troop ship to the gunship. We do have these interactive boards. So to play a game. So to save all the enemy ships and capture them. Try not to sink them. You have 60 seconds, okay. Soon. 
Which hat she hold? Ian's actually quite hard. What did I manage? I captured six. <laughs> I sank two. Not bad. Well, ships and guns of value the spoils of war. That's what I mean. See all the medical equipment from the Mary Rose. Bones. Bones. You can't keep it, you have to put it back. It's an arm bone by the looks of it. No, I see. I put it back in the box then. This bit, look. Let me show you. It's this bit of your arm. This bit here. But an adult's version. What else we got then? Oh, right, let's head this way, I think. So we're going downstairs, although they do have a lift for those who cannot use stairs. Well, I can use them, and I think I'd look silly going in the lift on my own. It's just a personal preference of not liking stairs. Oh, what's this then? Cooking equipment. Nanny, did you see I just jumped down there? Mm -hmm. I don't think that was a very good thing to do. Why didn't... 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 Why
And then this is the uh, ship. We're in the actual upper deck bit now. There's no glass, as you can see over there. We've got the glass here. You can actually see it. Robin's a bit upset, she's hungry, we think, so we're gonna go find some dinner in a minute. We're just gonna get through this last little bit. Got some great bits on show here. These are the swivel guns. You can see there's the arrows, look, that you, that you missed on the last one, look. Can you see the arrows? Yeah. Yeah. And then, this is your forward facing gun. And again, they do have the interactive screens here. But yeah, it is great that they managed to bring this up from the bottom of the sea. Definitely interesting. Um, you know, do recommend if you're interested in boats and things, especially the older boats, definitely come down here and take a look at this. Uh, worthwhile experience to be fair you can pay for it separately uh, but we paid for the ultimate experience here today um, so we get all the um, experiences in with that right now we're gonna go out and this is the last room it's got one of the big cannons of it on show it does have seating around uh, and then you've got some plates that have been found. Um, yeah. Living in style, apparently. Only the rich owned items made of silver and gold. And that's what they were made of. And then it's uh, down the stairs and to the exit. And down the stairs we have got the final bit. Finding the early years. The excavation. The raising and then now uh, doing the dives. And we go out, of course, into a gift shop. Yeah, all similar things again. You've got your pens, purses, soft toys, beer, oh. Bookmarks at 2 99 Children's books. Oh. Model kit, one, eight, one to eight test scale. £300, you can build that yourself. Christmas ornaments, 15 Some marmalade and chilli jam. Chocolate biscuits, orange crunch. Three chocolates and get one pound off total. It's not bad. A mug. Yeah. So and that's the gift shop. Thanks for watching the full tours. Um, please check out some of my other videos. Um, I'm sure you'll love them. Have a nice day. Like, comment, subscribe.